Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're doing well. Today's tutorial is a bit of a spicy one. We're going to be tying a pair of rope panties. The project is my design and it is simple to do. Here you can see our project for today. The design is fairly minimalist, so you're probably not going to use it through the day. It is something more for special occasions. Now, let's take a look at the supplies, then get into tying. As far as supplies go, our main supply is going to be rope. In my case, I'm going to be using a quarter inch cotton rope. Cotton contrasts nicely. It is comfortable and soft. Now the length of your rope really depends on the person wearing the panties. Now in my case I'm going to be using 11 and a half to 12 feet of rope. For securing the ends of your rope I recommend using some tape. For cutting your rope Use scissors or a knife. Let's begin tying. For the front we're going to tie this knot. Take your rope and fold it in half. Take this strand, so the top one out of the two, and create a loop, like this. Then create a second loop, like this, passing over your initial bite. Take the working end and weave under over under. Like this. Then over under through the left loop and over under over through the bottom loop. Like this. And this is our knot. Now we're going to tighten it up a little bit. Start with the longer of the two ends. Pull it in a little bit and work the slack through the knot into the other end. So something like this. We are going to keep adjusting the knot to get it to look right. We are also going to make sure that the two ends are of equal length. This should be the end result. When you are happy with the look of the front part, Place it under a heavy object. Like this. We are now going to twist our two ends into the middle part. Take the left end, twist it towards the left and place it over the right end. Take the new left end, twist it towards the left and place it over the right end. Again, take the left end, twist it towards the left and place it over the right end. Keep doing this until you get a length that you need.
After twisting a sufficient length, we're going to start with the back part. This is done using the Carrick Band. Take the left end and create a loop. Take the right end, pass over the loop, under the left end, like this, then pass over, under, over, under. And this creates the Carrick Band. After adjusting it a little bit, this is going to become the back part of our project. So, something like this. We now have the front part, the middle part, and the back part figured out. Now we're going to connect the two ends through the front through these two side loops. So take one of the ends and feed it through the loop at the front. Like this. Then the other end through the front as well. So this is the basic setup. Now you can put the panties on and then we're going to finish up by somehow connecting the two ends either on this cord or tying them together. The first way for finishing the two ends is to tie them at the back. So I take the two ends and I bring them like this to the back. I'm now going to tie together the two ends at the back. To do this, I'm going to use the reef knot. So first off, I cross the two ends. I take the right end, which is coming over the left one, and I feed it through the opening, like this. Then, using my right end, I pass over the left end. Then, I take the right end, which is coming over the left end, and I pass it up through the opening. Tighten up, and you have a reef knot. So this is one way of finishing up. The second way of finishing uses a quick release technique. In my case, the mooring hitch. Take an end and bring it to the side. Create a loop like this and feed your existing strand through the loop like this. Then, using your end, Create a bite and feed it through this opening. Like this. Tighten up the hatch a little bit and you have a quick release way of finishing up the panties. Simply pull on this end to release. I wanted to show you how to finish up the ends of your rope in a decorative way. I'm going to show you two different, fairly decorative ways. The first one is a whipping. A whipping is done using a piece of thread. The color really depends on your personal preferences. Maybe something that stands out, or something that blends in. I cut about a foot and a half of my thread. I'm going to fold 
the end into a small byte. Then I'm going to place this byte a bit further away from the end of my rope. Like this, then begin wrapping around from the right side to the left. So all I'm doing is wrapping around the bite from the right side to the left. Now how many turns you do really depends on the look that you want. So let's say something like this. Now take your end and feed it through the bite on the left side. So through here, bottom up. Then Pull on this right end to pull the left end to the middle of your turns. So to about the middle point, like this. Then pull on both ends. This is going to tighten up your whipping a bit further. Finally, trim the two ends. So something like this. If you want, you can unravel your rope here a little bit to get a bit more of a fuzzy look. So something like this. You can finish like this or trim the end here for a cleaner look. The second way of securing your ends doesn't require any thread. Instead, we're going to tie a knot. Unravel your end a little bit. So a bit under half a foot. Then line up your strands, take the first one, pass it over the other two like this. Then come around and into the loop created by the first strand like this. Take the second strand and pass through here, so through our first loop, behind our remaining strand, and into the second loop. The last remaining strand passes under and through our first two loops and into our third loop. Then make sure that our strands are lined up. So the first one is at the bottom, the second one at the middle and the third one at the top, here at the front. Pull on your first strand a little bit to tighten up. Pull on the second strand a little bit to tighten up. Then pull on the third strand. Do this a couple of times until you can't tighten up anymore. Now pick up your first strand from here at the bottom and place it next to this one here on the right side. Take the second strand, which is now at the bottom, and place it alongside the first strand, like this. Then slightly tighten up 
all of your strands. And what you're going to get is a Matthew Walker knot. Now this one is not the easiest knot to tie, but it is extremely secure and it looks quite nice. Now again, you can unravel your strands a little bit. to get some tassels or fuzzy bits going. Or you can cut right at the knot. So guys, that's our project for today. A bit naughty, but fun to make and fun to watch in use. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.